what's up what's up my lv besties i'm back with another video for you guys and today it's going to be another unboxing and i have another bag to compare it to but first of all i just want to talk to you guys for about something for a second what's new right no just kidding um i just actually want to say thank you i want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel everybody that has liked my channel or liked my videos watched my videos commented shared it you guys have been so great and so helpful and i just began this channel last week and i just kind of about a month ago i started thinking about it and i've i've been watching youtube videos for well over like three years now and i'm like you know like this was something that i would probably be good at you know or at least give it a shot and see because i have so much to talk about and um anyway so i, I really and truly just kind of like within this month kind of just like threw it all like together like getting my computer getting a camera getting all that kind of stuff so i just i mean it means a lot to me that um so many people have been viewing my my videos and i know i don't have very many subscribers and i know that takes time everything takes time and if you'll hang in with me hang in there with me i do believe that you know i will my channel will grow i do and it's because of you guys that it is already growing and with everything we do in life it takes time you know anything you start new you're not just going to jump in and be you know like just amazing and 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 just you know be everything have everything the way you want it you know it's not it's not easy to get in front of a camera or your computer or the gopro or my phone like i'm using right now because my husband has the he had my computer's charging and my husband is using the camera so i'm on my phone right now but regardless any of these things it's not easy to get on here and talk to somebody and not have somebody to talk back and luckily i am a person that is very outgoing and will talk to anybody i i do not have a shy bone in my body um you know the term or the saying stranger danger well that does not apply to me because i don't meet a stranger okay and and that probably goes back from the line of work that i've done but but no i am a very outgoing person and so it doesn't bother me to get on and talk but it it still makes me a little nervous you know and and, and again especially because i don't have anybody speaking back to me so i'm literally either i'm looking at myself or i'm not looking at myself so i'm either talking to myself or, or it looks like I'm talking to myself or I'm not talking to anybody and I don't know which one's harder to be honest with you but um but you know again it takes time and it takes time to to um grow grow a channel or grow a you know a YouTube family and channel and all that kind of stuff and I'm willing to do that and you know just going back to the days that um when I was in nursing school, just for instance, I had to, you know, I had to learn how to patient teach, just like I'm learning how to speak to you guys. But I do think when you have compassion for something, or, you, you know, you love something, and, and you're willing to put yourself out there because of the compassion you have, I do think it makes things a lot easier. And I'm, not really comparing this but i am comparing it in in a different aspect like like i said so when i was in nursing school we had to learn to patient teach okay that was part of our scope of practice well we started clinicals you know semester one okay you didn't have time to learn everything you needed to learn you, i don't even know that anybody any nurse or anybody in the medical field has time to really learn everything they need to learn because there there's new things popping up every single day but but when you're very fresh and new and before I was a nurse, I was a massage therapist. So I did have a little bit of knowledge in maybe some of the anatomy of the body and stuff, but not really in, with like medications, diseases, illnesses, you know, any of that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, that was all fresh and new and I had to learn that. And I, and I was willing to because I wanted to be a nurse really bad. I mean, my whole life I've loved taking care of people. And, you know, I do feel that God put me in that, you know, position at the time to do his work, you know, through him or whatever 
And, um, I mean, he led me to become a nurse. I mean, I have no doubt about that. And when I was injured in a car wreck, I, I mean, my back is, is in pretty bad shape. I mean, I live a, a, a normal life, but, you know, I can't really do the things that I used to do. But that's okay because, you know, there's a reason for everything. But anyways, going back to my topic of, of patient teaching. So, I had to learn how to go into a room, meet a patient, not knowing what who I was going to face, what they were going to have, or anything until we got into report that morning. And you're, I mean, I go from my clinical instructor to they hand me off to a nurse, and then they give me a patient. And luckily, just one through clinical. Thank the Lord. And um, but anyways, you get a little report, but you know, when you're learning, it's that. It, and you've never heard of something, It that's kind of hard, you know. So, you know, what do you go to? You know, you go to your phone, you start Googling, you start talking to other nurses. I'm like, you know, like, you, you've got, I mean, you are also underneath another nurse. I mean, they're not just throwing you out there and just letting you, like, take care of that patient and, and just never, you know, go in there and help, you know, do anything or whatever. Like, you're underneath them. But bottom line, you're having to learn how to become a nurse. And that, and it's, hand, I mean, hands-on is, is, to me, the best thing the best way to become one. And um, so anyway, so I had to learn how to talk to these patients and it was definitely not easy, you guys. And especially when you're dealing with bad things, like it's it's not an easy job. So as I went through nursing school, I mean, things did get easier. I will say that for sure. But then when I become a nurse, and I did go out on my own and I worked in a hospital, I won't name that hospital because I'm I'm, I'm not going to do that. But um, when I worked in a hospital and I was on my own, I, had, I it was like I was relearning it all over again, you know, because if you've ever, nurses that are out there and watching this, they know, you. who really has time to help you? You know, you better know, you better be on your best game when you come in and you better know your stuff because if you don't, you're, you're about to be in a big bind. And... If you don't know what a patient has and what they're dealing with or what they're suffering from, go try to teach something about that. I mean, because you're not going to be able to. So you, be, you, again, you better be on. You better know your stuff. And it's also, you know, it's real hard because um, it's hard to not go in and speak in medical terms. And especially like I took medical terminology. Um, I took a year of it, two semesters of it, and so most of the most of the words to me I would want to use medical terms because it's the way I learned it and and then I would have to realize I, they're not understanding a word I'm saying you know so I had I had to I had to talk differently I mean I had to like just I don't know say it in different ways and so so you also have that like you have to figure out a way to to talk to patients differently you have to know what you're talking about, and you definitely have to be right about what you're talking. I mean, you 100% have to be right about what you're talking about, and you got to be able to open up and speak. And sometimes it's not hard because they're sitting there looking at you and they're sad, and or the the family's over there sad and they're asking you questions. But with all that being said, my the bottom line is, you know, as the weeks went by, the months went by, the years went by. I got real, uh, I got real good at patient teaching, and I mean, I'm not going to say like I knew every single thing that I, you know, I had to teach on, but if I didn't, you know, I would try to grab a nurse real quick, uh, whatever I could, and learn as much as I could, and luckily, most of the things that I dealt with was the, you know, I worked on the med search floor mostly, and oncology a lot, but you know, I most of the things that I did have to teach on was repetitive stuff. We've seen a lot of just repetitive illnesses and stuff uh, through the times that I worked there. There was rarely a time that someone came in that I really just didn't know anything about something that they had. But if they did, boy, I was I was trying to figure that out because like I said, at the end of your shift, you you need to be, you know, teaching that patient or, or helping them learn and understand what they need to do to get better or or, um, you know, just understand what's, what their body's going through. 
I mean, there's just so much I could talk all day long on that. I mean, but I'm not going to. I just was wanting to say, like, basically, I'm, and again, this, I, that was dealing with lives. This is dealing with a whole nother, like, not, nothing that would even compare to that. But basically, that was hard. I learned how to do it. And I, and I feel that I learned how to do it well. I'm learning how to speak about something that I am also compassionate about. I, you know, like, I mean, I, I don't know if that's a good word to use for, like, material things, you know. But, you know, you can have material things that also make you happy, you know. I mean, food makes people happy, you know. Um Clothes make people happy. Cars make people happy. Um, de like, house decor makes people happy. Like, everybody has something that makes them happy. My boys like to go hunting. Their guns make them happy. Their bows make them happy. You know, we all have things that we like. So, if, if handbags and accessories and clothes and stuff make you happy, and you can get on here and speak about it, you know, I, I don't think it will take long to overcome the scaredness and the or the nervousness that you have like I just I think that with time I will get better you know I do and and I mean if I have to believe in myself because if I don't you know I, I'm not going to be able to make anything out of this channel I mean I'm just not so I am trying to study and learn upon learn more about the history of, of Louis Vuitton bags because like I've mentioned before if I seen one I liked, if I was in a boutique, I'd buy it. If I seen one online that I liked and I could buy it, I would. If my essay sent me a picture and I liked it, I would. I never, I never really like looked into any any background or any history of it, just because I didn't really care about that part. And but now that I'm trying to get on here and talk about these things these certain things, I need to know that, just like I needed to know what I was talking about when I was a nurse. H however, I needed to know that way more than I needed to, to need that, to know this, you know, but again, like I said, I'm not really comparing a life to a purse. That's not at all what I'm doing. I'm just saying, I'm, I think that, you know, with, with time, I will get better and I won't be as nervous speaking about Eat these handbags and whatever else that I plan on doing like I'm gonna do some clothing hauls and I'm gonna do I'm gonna start vlogging that might kind of be scary at first but I'm gonna do um collective hauls with my bags reviews you know I've, I've mentioned all this in my other videos but in just just in case it's the first video you're watching I'm gonna do the pros and cons the likes and dislikes the comparisons and just that kind of, you know, everything that kind of goes with it. Um, I'm also, I'm going to look at the Louis Vuitton store tomorrow. And um, I'm going to look at their jewelry. I've never looked at their jewelry before. But um, I'm not saying I'm going to buy anything. But I wouldn't mind looking at it, especially some of their watches. So, yeah. So, you know, I am trying to learn more of the background of this so that I don't look like such a crazy person coming on here and and calling all these French names just out of the blue like whatever pops in my head what sounding them out like I'm in kindergarten here you know like like I literally am like sounding these things out you guys like I I should have took French back in school I'm just kidding, but it would have been cool to have done that, and, um, but anyways, so, yeah, so bear with me, because I feel like I will get there, and if I don't, I don't, but if I do, it's, uh, it's all because of you guys for sticking with me, okay, so let's move on past that now, and let's talk about what I'm gonna show you guys, so I'm gonna be unboxing the Alma PM, and I have an Alma PM already, and she is an epi leather bag and i bought her on the pre-love market and she's a 2018 she's in immaculate condition and um i had wanted an epi or i'm sorry an alma bag a few years ago i was looking at them and i looked at the um oh goodness bb size and i put one on and i was like ah, 
I don't know. I it it didn't really I it didn't really appeal to me at the time. I I think it was more due to the size of it. But then as I've seen like some videos on the PMs, I think I would like I, I was thinking I would like those a lot better because they were bigger. And um and and even though I, like I do think all my things would obviously fit in one of the BBs because they fit in these other small purses. I just kind of like the the look of the PM size. And um anyways, but um I'd never had an epi epi leather bag either so i thought you know what i'll look on the pre-loved market and see if they have one and i found one and so i got it and then uh after i mean i've worn it a little bit and i thought you know what i really wouldn't mind having one in the canvas print and i and i wanted the uh, the damier bean uh, print because it's my favorite print but i would have took the monogram one also but it, I messaged my SA and I was like, and I asked her if she had any of the Almas in, and uh, in stock. And she was like, actually, I do. I have the this exact this bag, the PM, with the um, the Damier bean print. No, I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired tonight. But anyways, um, and so so I bought it, and um, so yeah, so I'm gonna show you the um the one I had already had, and we'll go over that first. And y'all, she is literally in immaculate condition. Whoever had her first, either one or two things, they took really good care of it or they just don't tear up. And I am very, very careful with my bags. Like, I take excellent care of them. I treat them like my children. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I mean, no, no lie, though, really. Like, I mean, I know they say you can, like, use these in the, in the rain and stuff and, like, the canvas bags and the... They're good weather bags, but when it's raining, you guys, and I don't have an umbrella, the, the, my bags are going underneath my, my shirt, or I'm going to grab a hoodie or a blanket or whatever I can find in the back because I'm covering them things up. These things cost way too much money, and I know people say, oh, they're just a bag. You, you, you mean, if you're not going to, you know, if you're going to just let it just be in perfect condition always, like, what's the use of having it? Well, there, the use is keeping it in perfect condition because I'd like to pass these down to my daughters and and my daughter-in-laws and my grandchildren one day, you know, and, and plus, again, when you pay a lot of money for something, you want it to stay nice, right? I mean, I do. I mean, that's just the way I am. But anyway, so, so whoever took care of this bag or whoever had this bag took very good care of it, okay? So, here it is in the black, as you can tell, epi cowhide graining leather. And, I mean, you can see that very well right through here. The... the I guess this would be the graining part or whatever, but it's trimmed in cowhide leather here, and the handles are made out of, and I'm not going to pronounce this right, you all already know, Toro leather, something like that, don't know, but that's what it said, <laughs> and then it's really, it's got this real pretty LV embossing in it right here, if you can see that, it's really pretty, I mean, it blends in with the bag, but whatever, whatevs and then it's got the silver hardware i don't know if y'all can see that or not but and even whenever i received this bag like there was not even any scratches like on these um zippers so somebody must really not have used this bag because that's very hard to do is not get any scratches on the hardware but anyway so it's got silver hardware and i just added this little charm and i know she's got gold on her but or well not real gold but you know what i mean but I know she really doesn't match, but I thought the purple looked good up against um, the black. So let's open her up, okay? Oh, let me give you her measurements real quick. So she is 12.6 in length, 9.8 in height, and 6.3 in width. So yeah, that's what she is. She's a large bag. So we're gonna open her up and Alma PMs do not come with a strap. You probably already know that, but I bought one on Amazon, and I mean, this is just probably cheap leather, but you know what? It gets the job done. Like it matches perfectly. That I, I didn't, I didn't care because I mean, I will carry, I, I will carry a bag with just the top handles, but I really prefer not to. I don't, I don't. I like to wear them crossbody shoulder bags, like that. Okay, I, for, I forget that I stuff, I stuff all my purses, y'all, so they don't lose structure. But I forgot to take this out before. Oh, well. Y'all understand, right? So, she's got like, this is almost like a um, charcoal gray color microfiber lining on the inside. 
with two good pockets right here. And I like that they have separate pocket pockets because I'll put like a sanitizer in here, my chapstick in here or whatever. But these bags are large, you guys. Like, no lie, like they, they hold some stuff. And I like that they have this little thing right here because it keeps your, for one, I love that they zip all the way down like right there like i love that and and then i like that they have this to keep your things from falling out and i know i probably could get an organizer i probably should get an organizer for these but i usually just i mean they're so they're so sturdy that like i don't know like it's not like your, your soft bags whenever you don't have an organizer and they're all like smashing in or whatever or sagging or whatever these don't do that so like I don't know. An organizer would just be helpful to not have a black hole down in there and like you're just reaching and grabbing for your stuff. But anyway, so yeah, so that's that's her in a nutshell. And I think I mean she I think I definitely got my money's worth for it. She also has the four feet on the bottom. The only thing, absolutely only thing that I would say was not in immaculate condition condition was the bottom. But look at this. I mean, it's just like some little indentions. Like, who really cares? Like, who's looking at the bottom of your purse, you know? Other than that, this purse was very much well worth the money, and I'm very proud that I did buy it pre-loved because it's a good one. And I would get up and show you guys um, what it looks like on, but I'm, like I said, I'm filming from my phone right now, and it's not going to it's, it's not gonna do any good. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Like, it's just going to show it all like half my body and I don't I really don't even know what it's gonna show to be honest. Like so we're not gonna try her on. <laughs> okay. Hope you guys don't care. Oh and it and then it also it does have the, the key bell right here. But it does <laughs> y'all it didn't come with any keys, okay? But again, I don't really care about that because I don't lock my bags, and I, and if I did, I sure wouldn't pull one of these up and like turn it and try to do all this kind of business. Like absolutely not. So it can be there, and for looks, that that, that I'm good with that. I did not. Ha it. I guess if I absolutely just wanted it, I have like a ton of them from my speedies that I don't use either, and I could stick one in there. But again. I don't use the lock and keys on any of my bags. All right, so let's get to my new unboxing, okay? My new bag. And this came from my essay in Miami. And I, I'm so, y'all, I want to go meet her so bad. Like, she is, she is so sweet. And she actually invited me to, they're having their event, right? their big event right now because they have the second largest store in the U.S., and so they're having their big trunk event right now and it's lasting until November the 18th and she invited me to go and I was like, I wish I could so bad, but I can't because I mean, my daughter, uh, I'm not going to leave my daughter and jump on a plane and go to Miami whenever she has, you know, school and everything. And I mean, I'm just not going to do that. I mean, I know my husband could, could stay here and take care of her, but I'm not really a traveler by myself. Like I don't, I don't like that either. So but yeah, like I plan on going and visiting her or visiting Miami and going and seeing her maybe this summer. And um just just because like we text all the time. I mean, we, we talk about all kinds of things. And of course I wanna go see her store and I wanna go I definitely wanna go see one that's like the second largest. Like God knows what I no nah, it's probably not a good idea that I do actually. But no, I really do. I wanna go meet her. But I thought it was so sweet that she invited me to her event. And I'll have to show you guys what she sent me, um as a sweet gift, um, and you, you guys have probably have already seen these on other videos, but I'll show it to you, um, because I'll, I'll have to go get it and pull it out and all that, but it, it's really cool. She sent me this sweet little box with some moon, I think they're called moon cakes in it, and it's something from, I think it's a Chinese thing, and it's got the cutest little box, or they came, it came in the cutest little box, and it was just so sweet of her, but anyways, so yeah, so she, she did wrap this one, or she did put this, Put ribbon around this one, okay? Or somebody did. Like I said, the boxers. I call. I'm gonna start calling them just the boxers. The boxers put ribbon around this one. All right. So let's unbox it. All right. Here she is in the pretty dust bag. 
And if you want to know how much she costs, I think she was around eighteen hundred before tax. So, yeah, she's good. Good. I mean, it, it's expensive, but I'm not gonna say that it's a cheap price. But I mean, like this is a good price for um, a bag. I think, like, really, especially for the size of it. All right, so we're gonna open her up, take her out, and voila. Here she is in the Domiera Bean. I absolutely love it so much. And she did come with the strap either. I don't understand why they put them with the PMs and they don't put them with, I mean, they uh, BBs, but they don't put them with the PMs. Like, why in the world we do not do that? Like, give us a strap, you know? But, which is not a big deal because I have other, um, I have other bags that have the same type of leather strap that matches perfectly that I can use so I'm not going to order one because again I, I can use my other straps so yeah so here she is and she has this exact same measurements as that other one because I checked so there's no sense of giving the measurements off before um on her but she's got the four gold feet at the bottom so pretty and she's got the shiny gold hardware and I love the inside. This is not the microfiber lining, but it's, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, it's, I don't know what this type of lining is called, but I like it. And it's got the same two pockets, just like the other one did, the other one had. And I mean, it's the same size of a huge too, like very huge, very good size bag. It goes all the way down, unzips all the way down, has these little, I don't really don't know what they're called, but it keeps your things from falling out. I didn't even tell y'all where these bags are made from. Let me look real quick. We're going to have hope for France or Spain or Italy. Okay, this one is made in France. And let's see where she was made. I love whenever they say it on the bags. She was made in France as well. Okay, so they're both made in France. So cool. But yeah, so this is the Alma PM. And she's absolutely beautiful. And I can't wait to carry her. And let me tell y'all something cool about this bag, okay? Did y'all know that it was designed in 1934 and what it was named after? Because it's pretty cool. So it was named after the Alma Bridge in Paris. Like, how cool is that, you know? Like, I mean, I have a bag named after a bridge in Paris. I mean, along with uh, 900,000 other people, I'm sure. But, like, it's still cool learning, like, where their names are. Yeah, where their names come or why they made the bag or who they made the bag for. And, I mean, all that's just cool. Like, I love learning about this stuff, you guys. But when I read that it was named after a bridge, I thought, well, that's pretty neat. For real. So, yeah. So, that's the Alma PM. And I just wanted to get on here and unbox that for you guys. And mostly to tell you guys thank you. I mean, I really, really like from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for for already, you know, what I've been, all the feedback I've been getting. Like, that is just, that is more important to me than anything. And, I'll, of course, I hope you like my bags. And if there's anything you want me to show you guys, um, more than likely I'm, I might have it. And I would gladly do a review over it. And, you know, um, anybody that wants to do some collaborations um, and, like, do some, like, I don't know. I've just, I've seen a lot of YouTubers, do, they collaborate with other YouTubers. And, and like, we'll do, like, the same type of videos. Like, I'm, I'm willing to do that also. Like, that would be really cool and fun. But, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day and or night. And I will see you guys back tomorrow. Thank you.